Hey, good morning, my friends. How are you? So I've given the old border models Focke Wolf a prime in the white. So now I'll just be able to find any you know, problems, stuff that's not really that great. We can fix that up now. And there's some little things I want to fix up. So the clips along here need to be replaced. They don't look that great. So I'll just make up some new photo etch ones. Um, can see like the clips here look a lot better they, they've been destroyed by me sanding it out so i'll get them fixed up and there's a few more gaps and all that kind of stuff that we need to sort out but yeah it's a different sort of thing i'm not used to priming it in white it sucks up a lot of paint but she's actually she the detail looks really nice on it border have done a very good job with this. A really nice little aeroplane, little aeroplane. Of course I'm gonna, I've got that sort of rear plate starting to get yellowed up and then we can just tape that up, get it primed up in white completely and then we'll, we can start with the colour scheme. So they generally I went they went with like these three color schemes three colors so i think this is the 1943 look um wait a sec that's in the wrong way so 74 75 and 76 um but then you've got earlier paint schemes um 62 63 and 65 but I think, yeah, I'll go with this one, 74, 75, and 76. See how that goes. I'm not sure, but we'll try. But I think I'm just going to do sort of this basic one here. Um, Joseph Priller's French one. That one looks pretty cool. I like it. Doesn't look like it's going to be too difficult. So... That'll be a 74, 75, 76 colour scheme. So we'll go with that. Hopefully she comes up good. I'm a bit nervous about doing it, but um, the best thing to do is just get cracking and get started. So we'll let this dry up and um, then I'll start to do the bottom first, I suppose. We'll start with the light blue at the bottom, the 76. Uh, it's also going pale blue, pale grey, uh, RLM 76, and we'll use that at the bottom. And um, yeah, I'm going to try some new airbrushing techniques maybe and see how we go. See what kind of variations we can get with colour and all that kind of stuff and um, yeah, give it a crack. Uh, really looking forward to it. So i uh, also got this really coming along nicely. Really happy with the results here. So I've got a few more things to do, another figure to put in, but that will nearly be finished. I'm also wanting to get this Panzer IV finished. I accidentally dropped the um, turret, so I've got to fix up a few things. But I'm getting the crew painted for it, so I've got um, this crew here. Uh, it's another master, uh, mini art, sorry, master box, another mini art sort of figure set. And you can see here, I'm starting to put the greens on and the pants there. And I've started with the face and just his interior head part. But it's just, um, I'm gonna do this purely with a brush. So this brush here. And I'm using Valero colors. So I've got the German field gray and I've got the green gray. And that will be the base colors I'm gonna use for the green in uniform. And I'm also gonna use the black um, prime as the shadow coat. So see how we go. Hopefully I can improve my figure painting and become good at that as well. So learning a lot of things at the moment, really trying to become a master of figure painting and learning how to paint aeroplanes. I want to redo this one as well. So it'll be pretty exciting. Exciting times. I'm always keen to learn new things and all that kind of stuff. You know, I'm really good at painting armor and doing that, but I always want to um, progress and learn. I don't ever want to get stuck in a rut, you know what I mean? 
So yeah, today I think I'll just be working on the focal wolf and these figures. All right, my friends, have a lovely day. I hope you're enjoying your weekend and I'll speak to you again very soon.